Hey there, it's Shelly Penny with vidfling.com. I want to show you how you can make your own simple cartoon backgrounds using free software, even if you have no artistic or designing experience. First though, here's a very simple cartoon background found on one of the stock photo sites for a medium image size with um, an extended license, as you can see here probably web usage, it's going to cost me 50 credits. Now 50, 60 credits, sorry, with Dreams Time, costs around $90. So you're going to play somewhere around $90 to get this simple little image. And when you get it, it's not going to be the right size for your explained you know, video creator. You're probably going to have to do some cropping or whatnot. So why not make the image yourself for free and uh, use your own images? So let me just start by showing you how you can do that. Now I use free software, it's called paint.net and you can get it at getpaint.net. That's www.getpaint.net and it's very easy to install, download and install. Um, and it's very robust. I use it as a replacement for Photoshop and it can do everything that I need it to do. When I do my backgrounds, I use almost exclusively geometric shapes. I'm doing cartoon backgrounds, so while it's great to be aware of the perspective rules and whatnot, there's not really any rules when you're drawing cartoons. You can make it look however you want to. And if you've seen explainer videos with cartoon backgrounds, then you know what I'm talking about. They're not um, terribly involved or terribly professional. You don't want them to compete with your message. So they're very simple, very plain backgrounds that just give a suggestion um, to help pull your scene together. So open up paint.net once you get it installed. Go to File and New. And I'm going to create this background for exactly the size that I need for Explainio. If I were making this as a generic background to be used on a variety of different platforms, then I would make it super big and uh, scale it down as I needed to. But because I'm just making it for Explainio, and the, the size that I want is 1280 by 720. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put those values in here. And I'm going to use a draw in a resolution of 300 pixels per inch, which is a standard high resolution image. So here's the canvas side that I need, size that I need. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is draw the sky. So go to shapes. I'm going to choose a basic rectangle and I'm going to choose to draw a filled shape. Go up here to your color picker and a nice shade of blue here for your sky so yeah, I think that's a nice sky color so I'm going to move this over here now when you're drawing a shape you hold down the left mouse button and drag just the same as you would drag anything so there's a nice sky and then click outside of the canvas anywhere to um, take the selection off of the image you just have drawn. Now the next thing I'm going to do is draw a couple of hills. So I'm going to choose three different colors for the grass just to give a little bit of uh, definition in the background. I'll put the lightest one in the back and so I'm going to choose the ellipse and I'm going to draw a shape filled mode again and just draw a hill. That looks good there. Click outside of the box, choose a different color, a little bit darker maybe. That looks good there. Click outside of the box again to deselect the circle you just drew and a little bit darker here for my front heel. So there's three hills for my meadow. Now I'm going to draw a little bit of a sun. So I'm going to leave, stay with the ellipse tool and just uh, 
draw a circle up there. Now if you want a perfectly round circle, then once you get it to approximately the size that you want, click and hold down the shift button on your keyboard and then raise up the mouse finger and you'll have a perfect ellipse, perfectly proportioned. I'm going to put it up in the corner there like that. And I'm going to draw a couple of clouds. So we'll just click white, stick with the ellipse tool, draw a couple of circles, click out, don't forget to deselect. There we go. Now I have a simple meadow scene that I can use as a background in any of my videos. Yeah.